Hi, in this video I want to do a review of a laptop bag that I've started using called the Peak Design 30 litre everyday carry. So the bag comes in two forms, it's a 20 litre and a 30 litre. Um, I initially got the 20 litre because that seems to be what a lot of people prefer, but I found it just a bit too tight getting some of the stuff in that I needed. So I sent it back and I changed it to the 30 litre, which gives you, you know, quite a bit of extra space. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch over to the other camera and then we will see how this works. Okay, so if we look at the bag here, we can see that it's made of kind of a quite a tough, um, thick um, material. I'm not quite sure what the material is, but it's it's water resistant. So I've been outside in quite a few downpours before, and it's you know the bag's kept dry inside, which is really good, and it's kind of quick drying as well. So if we start with the sort of main flap here, it uses this magnetic latching system. So if I pull this down open the flap this opens up and gives you sort of quite a bit of extra space which takes you to the full 30 litres when you want to close it you just push that back make sure the sides are tucked in pull this down and if you just drop it down it kind of magnetically latches but it means you can still open it quite easily if you want to secure it you just pull this latch down and hook it on which firmly um, closes the bag so if you're walking around and someone tries to open the bag you know they're going to be pulling down on this you have to give it a good tug so you're going to feel them doing that. Uh, so other features, so around the side here, or either side, we have a drinks bottle pocket. Um, what I personally do is, you get lots of these kind of attachments. It's like a key attachment here. So I have this attached to the handle on the side. And then I have kind of a, a wallet in here, which contains all of my keys. So I've got my house keys and my office keys in here. And this attaches with this little um, contraption here. So if I push that up, I can then quite easily detach my keys and get into my house or my office. Um, but I keep it tucked at the side here, so if I put it back on, and that kind of clips shut. I then keep it tucked in the side, right down the bottom there, kind of out of the way. Again, if anyone tries to mess with your bag, you're going to feel them doing that. Uh, but it's up to you if you do that. Uh, also on each side, there's a grab handle. Uh, the grab handle is quite sturdy, can take a lot of weight, which is good. And also we have a grab handle on the back here, again, which can take quite a lot of weight, which is pretty good. The straps on the back kind of have this kind of pivoted uh, mechanism here, so they've got quite a bit of movement. So a few other reviews have said that with the 30 litre version of the bag, they find it um, a bit uncomfortable if the bag's heavy and they've got it on their shoulders. I've personally not found that, so I've had this on my bag for you know hours at a time while I'm travelling. Um, I've got quite wide shoulders and you know a little bit overweight, so maybe that provides me a bit of extra padding. But I know a common request is that Peak Design actually adds some additional padding to this strap. Personally, not a problem for me, but I know some people have asked for that. We also have a sternum strap here if you if you need it. It just hooks onto both sides. It's completely detachable as well. Um, personally, I don't use it, but you know, I know some people do like sternum straps. And then also on the back here, this bit kind of opens up, and you can fit it over the top of a standard uh, kind of suitcase or hand luggage case, which is pretty good. Okay, so other features on the outside. So there's zips all over the place. And the zips actually um, have this kind of detachable thing here, so you can lock them in place around different loops on the bag for a bit of extra security. One feature I really love about this bag, and this is partly because the bag was originally intended to be a camera case for storing all your sort of cameras and lenses, but they have the ability on either side to open up the bag so you can access the contents of the bag from either side. They can do that both sides, and then you have an additional pocket here where you can stow bits of kit. So in my case, I've just got a, a dongle for my laptop. I've got a spare mouse, and I've got a wireless access point, which I use. So that's pretty cool. So let's do that up. And then round here, say so again, you can open up this side. In here, I, mean, I don't keep a huge amount in these, but I've just got like a 26,000 milliamp battery, which I keep. So that's really, really cool. Now it's designed for accessing uh, camera equipment whilst on the go. And they give you these kind of flexible dividers, but I'll talk about those more in a moment. So another feature I like about the bag is you can stand it up and it stays stood up. 
which is good. A lot of uh, laptop bags tend to just fall over, which is really annoying. Now at the back here, this is where you keep a lot of your sort of kit. So there's a space in here for a laptop. So I keep a 13 inch MacBook Pro, um, but you can easily put a 15 inch in there. And I also keep an iPad in there as well. Now also at the top here, there's like a kind of a little soft felt case, which is really good. So you can put like your passport in there. So I keep my glasses and I've just got a pair of it, uh, power beats earbuds as well. So plenty of space in there. So you can fit a 15 inch laptop in there quite comfortably, even on the 20 litre version. So that's quite good. Waterproof zips as well. So you obviously don't want any water uh, seeping in there and damaging your equipment. So now let's look at the typical things that I carry in here. So I've got a case here which has a magic keyboard. So it's a standard Apple Mac magic keyboard. I also have this um, kind of laptop stand. So if I'm working in a co-working space, just to make things a bit more ergonomic, I can put the laptop on a stand and use a proper keyboard. I also keep a Kindle with a protective case as well. So you know, I like to read when I'm traveling. So I take my Kindle everywhere with me. And I also have a pair of headphones. So these are the Sony XM3s, which are fantastic for travel. I don't leave the house without them. And then at the bottom here, I can get that up. I have another pouch here. Now this is also by Peak Design. It's called the Peak Design Tech Pouch. I'll review it in a separate video, but basically in here, this is where I keep things like, you know, my clicker for doing presentations, charger for the laptop, various different adapters for different countries. This is like a, you know, US adapter. And I've got, you know, an emergency battery and just all my charging cables. But I'll talk about that separately in another video. Uh, another feature I like is on the front here, we have another little pocket that's kind of magnetically latched. So yeah, I've got some dice in there, don't ask. I keep you know, my adapter for connecting to my bank, but also when I'm away traveling, I sort of stow all my receipts in here. It's just a convenient place to put receipts. So all in all, I'm really happy with this bag. But another feature I want to talk about, especially if you're a photographer or a YouTuber, is that you get these kind of interesting little um, dividers. Uh, where are they? <laughs> there they are. So you get three of these dividers with the bag. Now I don't personally use them, um, but if you're a photographer, these are fantastic. So they're Velcro. So let's just attach one in for a moment. Now what this means is you can partition your bag so that you can store like camera bodies in one space and then lenses in the other, but they have these kind of ingenious little flaps here that you can fold up so that you can have like, you know, certain lenses on this side and maybe a camera body on the other side. So if you do want to partition your bag uh, for storing equipment like that, then they give you everything you need to do that. I don't personally use it because I don't use it as a camera bag, but it's nice to have the option. So all in all, after what feels like years of trying to find the ideal bag, this is kind of, for me, kind of my nirvana, my tech nirvana. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've forgotten. Uh, so underneath here, so this is waterproof, which is good. So you can stand it on wet ground if necessary. But there's another little magnetic pouch here and there's some additional little uh, tie ups which you've got here, which you can attach to different parts of the bag. Now this is good. So if you've got a big heavy jacket and you want to roll it up and stick it under the bag, or if you have a sleeping bag with you or anything like that, or a tripod, you can just, you know, easily attach those to the bag. So it's a really thoughtful design for the bag. I'm really quite pleased with it. Um, it's not particularly cheap. Uh, I think this one is about, in the UK, about 260 pounds. So it is expensive, but if you carry a lot of equipment and you want to protect it whilst you're on the road, then you know I think that's a price worth paying personally because it keeps all of your equipment protected. It's strong, sturdy, waterproof, and it looks good as well. So that's it. That's my review of the Peak Design 30 litre everyday carry bag. And I'll speak to you again soon.